Hello Internet. This video is a quick guide on how to overcome a problem that I came across recently and that many other people have been coming across as well. I've read about it on forums that I'm not the only one who this has happened to and the solution is actually rather simple. The problem is I have an Asus laptop which in itself isn't a problem but uh, the software to open up the webcam and view it is this that you're seeing me on now you can see you can see the, what I can see on my screen which is my face and the problem is other people have been trying to open up the software and when they go to well, I'll show you when they go to the start menu on the bottom left hand side go to all programs go to Asus and go to Asus virtual camera they click on it and it doesn't open and the same thing was happening for me um, the solution on how to actually get your webcam software to open is very very simple the answer is that Asus virtual camera isn't the software that you click on to look at your webcam the actual software that you need to open to look at your webcam is LifeFrame so yeah if you want to view your webcam just go on LifeFrame and it's as simple as that. I'm now going to show you a quicker way to open the software. You can just do what I did, just go to Start All Programs, Asus, Lifeline. But a quicker way to do it is if you look at your keyboard, you'll notice next to the Control button there is an FN button. Hold that and press the letter V. Software just opens up when you do that. If you look at the letter V, you'll notice there's a little picture of a camera on it. That's to a uh, hint that the button helps you open your webcam. Uh, so if holding FN and pressing V doesn't work, then take a look at the button, see if there's a picture of a camera on it, and if there's not, then odds are it's assigned to a different button. So just look for whatever button has a camera on it. But I assume that most Asus computers do use V. That is pretty much it. So yeah, I hope people found this helpful. The reason I'm making this video is because it actually turns out that there's a lot of people who have experienced the same problem, and I just want to save them looking through a load of forum pages on the internet just to find out that all they have to do is press FNV, and then all of their problems are solved. So yeah, that's. Pretty much it. I've said all I have to say, so bye.